Hello everybody, welcome back to Psychonauts. Last time we were busy helping Gloria deal with her mental strife and mood swings by settling the play in her mind and more importantly figuring out what was um what was hurting her all this time. This episode we're gonna deal with the pesky phantom that keeps ruining the plays. We have the second part of the area. There's the little bubble guy. We'll show what he does eventually. Don't get me wrong, I've told you before. But uh, we never actually seen it in practice. Uh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, I have an idea. That's not what I meant to do. This one. And uh, this goes here. One would believe in theory. We could probably. Oops. You uh, no one's all. Watch that. your step. Or at least taunting us. I know that at least. Does he still see us? Regardless of whether we're invisible or not. Uh, oh dear. We're gonna have to come back for some of these figures. Welcome to the episode where I'm just terrible Break at platforming. I mean, that's what that's what he doing. That's what Raz doing though. All right. Maybe he can't see us. Swing. Luckily enough, if you just hold forward and build enough momentum, you should be able to just breeze right through these areas. I like these two just back here discussing stuff. This is my sanctuary. Like I said previously, we're here to deal with the phantom that keeps ruining these plays. Come no closer. The last thing you do. Hmm. Let's go. I am the Phantom. Doing pretty well for our mental score. There is a uh, sensor up here. I haven't seen these in a hot minute, actually. Oh dear. <laughs> you should be fine with the timing on these things. Probably go invisible for this part, though. Because, uh... I see you down there. Look out below! <laughs> That was amazing. Alright. Oh. He's in fact a little teapot, short and stout. Okay, that is that's pretty cute the fact that he just, he just says stuff. Just I am the fan. Yeah, there we go. Alright. This guy's pretty charismatic. Closer and closer to the bridge. There's a bell. Oh, these are buff sensors. They're still sensors, they just take a lot more hits. Oh, that's cute. You, uh, even they're dressed up. First things first, let's get let's give this hat box tag. This thing. And second, let's see what's going on. No, 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 here we go. 
Sorry, little guy. We need to see your secrets. Gloria's, Gloria's fallen star. Looks like the looks like the town is is painted in in uh in her name. Hmm. See her in her acting career, doing wonderfully. She's a star, and there's her uh, coveted trophy that she holds on to so dearly. Looks like she got some mail that she didn't particularly like. Maybe blackmail even. Oh. Oh dear. That um. Yeah, that that went real fast. I guess everyone's shaming her for that or something. I don't know. And then the two mood swings came in. To, uh, e I certainly hope that doesn't imply what that's trying to say. <laughs> considering. Uh, I think I did say before, this game's not afraid to, uh, to go, to, to go certain places. Oh dear. I see you down there. Yeah, uh, this game's definitely not afraid to go places and say some Look things that I guess <laughs> aren't necessarily the most favorable to hear. But, uh, yeah. That definitely sucks. Here. This guy's here to uh, take us back if we need to go and get some. But besides that, we should be fine. Let's go see about this phantom that's been causing trouble. Let's also be prepared to shoot things very quickly and not see anything. Visibility is your best friend. Explosions. Another cat. Oh. How dare you violate the sanctuary of the Phantom? Stop, or your next step will be your last. Out of curiosity. We talk to him. <laughs> so he's corporeal. Uh, I don't think we can get past this. We gotta go this way. So he can't be hurt. But he could probably use a little sunshine in his life to drown out all the negative. Let's do it on that. Cruel sunlight, anything but that. No, treacherous child. You shall pay for angering the men. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Now just stay put so I can come punch and unmask you. Oh, that was easy. Large, uh, giant obstacle in the way. No worries. So, about levitation. She works wonders, boys. She works wonders. Okay, Phantom. It's time to find out who you really are. What? Totally guess that. Uh-uh. You said it was Becky. Okay, the kid is guess, up, though. Phantom. What? Why, I never. How dare you accuse me of being the rugged and romantic scoundrel that has thrilled and terrified audiences for years. Yeah, I guess you're right. He's so agile and limber and thin. 
He could never be you. Why you? Of course it's me! Well, it's time to hang up the cape, Tubbs, because your days of terrorizing the theater as the Phantom are over. Maybe as the Phantom, but he's nothing compared to the full destructive force of an angry critic! <laughs> Hmm, how can I say this and still sound cool? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me? Oh dear. Well then, how about these? We should really learn by now. We're in the mental world where words can exactly hurt us. And boss fight is here. Our objective looks like we gotta get those candles. Oh wow, he's literally hurting us with bad reviews. Luckily enough, if we. That's not the thing. There we go. All we gotta do is get up here in the safety of the bow. Uh, the uh, yeah. Your these. fighting is weak, uninspired, and flat as a bed. All we gotta do is put the candles in. Your moves are derivative and mechanical. Now, how can I light that candle? No, oh, your technique is bland yet irritating. Ah, that light! Give you all good write-ups in the review if you kill that kid with the goggles. Let's float down and smack a hoe. Ow! 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 Ah, ow! Uh, that's You're on fire. That's fire. That's fire. Spotlight. Take that wretched regurgitator of the sun. Any fat critic. Ah. Ah. Ha -ha. Reinforced balcony. A must for any critic. We just gotta keep dodging his blasts. Watch it. No! Oh. Really got me good. Sure, man. Not good enough. Wait a minute, man. There we go. A terrible. Ah. Kill him. Get him. I say we do a little bit of fire. I said a little bit of fire, not us on fire. Come on. We are taking a lot more damage than I really should. Let's get started now and just start flying up here. Just play. We have a bit of a shield in here. The crowd would have been disgusted had they managed horrible hot beam of rock to kill him before he gets over here. We have exactly one life left. Sorry, we have exactly one hit left. And like that, we have more. That, that. Oh. Oh, another spotlight. I thought I got them all. I'll give you what I gave your brother over there, huh? How do you like that? Well, that brings up a dilemma. A terrible fight. This is a fourth one. Not up to the task at hand. Oh. Oh. These are apparently a lot more harder to dodge than I anticipated. Had they managed to stay awake. Come on. Get up there. Your moves are derivative. And mechanical. Just play. It's like my retinas are being brought. I'll give you all good write-ups in the review if you kill that kid with the goggles. Thank God for ricochets. There we go. You're finished. Can't you take 
a little criticism. I shall happily retire while I'm still young. Well, there we go. We've gone and helped her defeat her inner turmoils, and even given her a lot more confidence now. Finally, recognition for my acting talents. You got that right, Raz. You got that right. Well, wow. what are you doing out here, Gloria? I can't remember the last time I came out here at night. It's so beautiful, isn't it? These plants could use a little water, though. Now, where's that hose? Well, we definitely helped her uh, get out of uh, beating herself up over things, as well as, you know, just improved her morale overall. I guess it, it de no, not even I guess. It definitely sucks being your own worst critic. Me from the mission. I will not rest until I've delivered the milk. Sorry, Boyd. Uh, it definitely hurts being your own worst critic and dealing with stuff like that. Sometimes negativity can get you down that easily. But we've helped her. Uh, we've helped her through that in an unusual way. Who knew? And it's a uh, all an, all an insane asylum needs is just a psychonaut to help them deal with their issues. Well, one thing's for certain, we have to we have to go through and see about these other loonies here to see if we can help them. Question is, who do we who do we help first? Do we want to show off? Something create something fantastically artsy, or show off. Oh jeez, something fun, fun and strategic. Hey, I'm tired too, but you don't see me lying down in the shade. I think we'll save the culturally inspired artsy one later. Right now, let's worry. Let's talk. Excuse me, sir. My name is Napoleon Bonaparte. Behind oh, you, General. Uh, excuse me. Mr. Bonaparte. Shh. I only think I'm Napoleon Bonaparte. So he says the Do same thing as last time. Weekly. He denies his lineage because he feels it. I like your jacket. Very strappy. You want it? You can have it. Just help me undo these buckles in the back and I'll... Again. What are you doing? The uniform of this army is sacred. We shall wear it proudly until the battle is over. Help me. Oh, there we go. Actually, you know what? Let's talk to this guy. Now that we have one more, uh, now that we have a piece of, um, now that we have a piece of a costume, 
press to get past Greetings, him. Dr. Lobota. Never my say so, your claw is looking especially menacing today. One moment. If you're Dr. Lobota, what happened to your flesh? Where's your strappy jacket? You inmates are getting ever more clever, but you still can't fool old Crispin Whitehead. I'm an orderly, you know. I am not an imposter. Good day. I don't want to play anymore. Eh, look at him. Alright, let's help our friend here. Oh, wait. Oh, no, good move, mate. Yeah, you know what? Screw this guy. Psycho portal? Let's help our friend here. Napoleon Bonaparte. Sacre bleu! I have been hit! Now, I'd like to state, before anything happens, I love this level. This level is so dang creative in how it does its things, in how fun it is, and how creative everything is. Everything in this level screams creativity and inspiration. But to get to the main point of this level, Gloria had inner turmoils of her confidence and dealing with grief of her of uh, of things that happened. This man right here is in a mental war with himself, or more so, his heritage. Let's see what's going on with these two. Who's winning? Nobody's winning. Want to know who's losing? The Bonaparte family name! Look, I forfeit, okay? You win. Napoleon Bonaparte wins again. Is that the real Napoleon Bonaparte? I mean, the imaginary real Napoleon Bonaparte? Yeah, I'm actually related to him. Can you believe it? Shut up! Stop telling people that shameful fact. I don't even want to be here. But when this sad excuse for a Bonaparte lost a simple game of war to a feeble-minded invalid, I just could not take it anymore. I was forced to take control, and I will stay in control until I beat the love of victory into this degenerate swan who dares to call himself a Bonaparte. No, really, great-great-great-grandpa Napoleon, I do love victory, like, a ton. I love it so much, you can go now, I swear. Your move! So, as we can see here, we have to prove ourselves to uh, Napoleon Bonaparte. Who's winning now? Who do you think? Hmm. Funny if you think about it, but you know. Yeah. Uh, anyway. We see this shiny thing here. We're going to ignore it for a minute. And uh, I bet you're wondering what? What happens here? There's, not, there's no clear thing that sticks out to show us, so we got to do stuff. Well, I'd say you're wrong. In fact, you're dead wrong. Here is the level. That is... I can't remember what it's called, and that's what makes you hurt What's the most. This? My lazy opponent is actually trying to win? He has sent in reinforcements. Well, well. Then let the game truly begin. Send in my best soldier. You! Destroy that bridge! For France! For France! I hate your stupid bridge. This is how much I hate you. Ha <laughs> ha! Suck on that bridge. Ah, yes. Now I shall go torment this poor peasant over here. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, man, now look. The bridge is broken and I can't move my pieces past it anymore. I quit. Napoleon, you win. No! We don't forfeit. We're gonna beat you, Mr. 
genetic memory of Napoleon Bonaparte? Ha <laughs> I like your je ne sais quoi, your joie de vivre. Maybe you will teach my long-legged nincompoop a lesson, eh? <laughs> Alors... This game... keeps on... making me smile and making me just love it more and more. We're in a board game. Not just any board game. This is the board game to end all board games, because it's a board game with Mr. ourselves. Bonaparte? But how do you play this game? Ah, this game is so easy, even a child like you can play it. All my worthless descendant has to do is move a knight piece into the center of my stronghold. <laughs> but his knight isn't even on the board. He's hiding out in that house. Well, maybe he's got a good reason. And knights are good at storming strongholds, but they are no good at field combat. So he'll also need a strong militia to fight my soldiers. But he has no militia. His people are hiding out in their houses, hopeless, angry, and unarmed. Yeah, but... And if they came out to form a strong militia, they wouldn't be able to move around the board because I keep wrecking his bridges. Hey, that part is your fault. He could easily fix the bridges I keep breaking if he just had a carpenter. But his carpenter is hiding out in his house! <laughs> Afraid. Well, war is scary. So you see, it is an easy game, but Fred has already lost it. Not this time. This time, we're going to win. No, we're not. Fred, shut up. <laughs> this is uh, Fred's war game, and we're going to help him the best we can. So, above us is where we just were, but it should be noted, it should very much be noted, that uh, there's actually something very interesting. And that being that um, this place that we're at has a physical, physical existence in this little map here. I just can't find it. Somewhere on this map is physically us. I don't think it's that. Man, this salt shaker is totally in the way. I'll bet the real Napoleon never had to worry about stuff like this. I'm trying to see. Because, um, yep. this little map is obviously we're in it. But, uh, yep. something of interest is that, uh, where is it? There's literally a mini version of this, of the room we were just in, in this map. I'm just sad I can't find it now. Hmm. I'm sure we'll come across it eventually, but still. I would have loved to have shown it off and shown, oh yeah, like, there they are. And whatnot. Hmm. Well, whatever. Uh, in front of us, we have, uh, people. Little, uh, little parts of the board that we can interact with. But not exactly how you think we, we will. So, let's just be safe and, uh... Approach some of the places that are have little exclamation points on it. Here we have a farm and and a cannon. A cannon that we can't hurt. Hmm. You know what? Let's ask Agent Crawler. Okay. What's the situation? Agent Crawler, do you have any advice? Uh, your analysis on a hostile. Need your analysis on a hostile. What kind? How would you kill a really big walking snail with a cannon? Well, remember, you can tumble fast when you're using your mental focus. That should help you avoid the cannonballs. And when you get up close, punch them. And when they're all sealed up like a pill bug, light the fuse on their head and see what happens when that cannon goes off inside their armor. And when you're tired of that, Pick him up with TK and throw him in the water. Snails can't swim. <laughs> hmm. All right then. Wow, he really does keep an account of all the enemies you've fought so far. You've been very helpful. That's all I need. Good luck. I guess it just shows, like, some of these aren't that hard to fight. Uh, here. Let's take use of our new 
large, uh, large scale telekinesis. Just bloop. And he's gone. <laughs> yeah, that's the easier method. Just throw him in the water. Got an extra life. Now let's see what's going on with these guys. Hello, I'm recruiting for the army of Fred Bonaparte and- Go away! Fred Bonaparte has forgotten the people. And we have forgotten him. What? Fred loves the people. He was just telling me that some of his best friends are, um, the people. He has abandoned us. He doesn't care if we live or die. Look, I'll tell you what. I'll talk to Fred. I'll talk to him. And I'll prove to you that he cares about the common man. And that the fight is not meaningless. I'll believe it when I hear it from him. All right, then. It's fair to say we have a lot of, uh, a lot of troubles ahead of us. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I just realized. It was, it was in this, wasn't it? Hold on. Okay, firstly, let's put it out there. Yep, still affects us, even in a game board. Gypsy curses. I love them. We have a whole three planes to work with when it comes to, uh, just, you know, seeing everything. And it, it, it's just so amazing. Just, who would have ever thought to have been literally playing on a game board? Let's just go up here. And that's how we get back into the main areas of the map. Oh, you know what? I think it's literally in here, isn't it? Alright. Hold on. This is worth checking out now. Ta-da! That was easy. Stronghold stormed. Game one. Oh, you have to storm the stronghold with your knight, you stupid fool. Oh. Worth a shot. Still pretty cute, though. Ah, uh, here. Let's go to these guys. Because specifically, I want to show off that the that uh there is in fact a little place that shows that uh, these two are definitely playing at. Oh, and even better, I get to uh, grab this little guy. I could swear I hit him. Gemma. Gemma, little guy. There we go. Fred versus Napoleon. Here we have Fred versus Crispin, the guy who is out, who is currently outside of the mind and blocking the entrance to the upper parts of the of the insane asylum. And our boy Fred has lost so many times that uh, looks like he's gone in shock. Napoleon here has decided to step in and give him what for for losing so many times. What for is exactly, is exactly correct. And we've seen he's, he's been possessed by uh, by Napoleon. Interesting to say the least. Ooh. I need the steamer trunk tag for this guy. All right, you know. What? Eh. I'll just, I'll just continue on because he's is heavily fortified. Uh, next time on Psychonauts, we're gonna see about helping Fred more to conquer his past, uh, to conquer his, his lineage. Uh, for lack of a better outro, I'll see you guys then. Later.